welcome back to my channel it's Jin here in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys basically how I film behind the scenes and how I edit my thumbnails and what editing system I use and all that questions that I frequently get that is in the description bar so no one kind of tends to read it so I'm just gonna basically do a video for you guys talking to you guys all about the equipment that I use to all my videos for you guys so without further ado let's begin okay so you're really going to need a planner when it comes to making your videos believe it or not it kind of keeps you on a schedule and keep you organized when I was like not really using a planner at the time I didn't really kind of like was eager to film like you know what I mean I feel as though like I was just all over the place in my head like okay do I'm gonna do this 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 day and like no, it got it really got me nowhere, you guys. When I started using a planner, believe it or not, I feel organized and eager to like, okay, I have a to-do list. This is what I need to do today, and I'm gonna knock it out the park. You know what I mean? So I use this at a glance planner from 2015 to 2016, which is pretty awesome. I got this at staples for under 20 bucks which is pretty amazing i know it probably be a little pricey for you guys but i feel as though it's a great investment because it's a year-long book like it goes from um june to june next year you know what i mean so it's a year book and the thing that i like about it is that it kind of compresses the weeks from like months weeks and days i know some planners it gives you like this little little box that it tells you to basically put your whole life your whole day in that one little box which is impossible especially if you have a lot of stuff to do you know what I mean which I absolutely love about this book you can basically put all your stuff that you need to do your notes your basically what to do for the months birthdays what do you guys do for filming videos brands like companies proposals and stuff like that I absolutely love this planner it really saved my life so moving on to camera as for a camera, the camera that I use is the Canon PowerShoot. It is the SX510 HS. And yeah, that's pretty long, I know. But yeah, it's in the description box. It's really, really cheap and affordable if you guys are looking for like a starter kit camera. I'm not like one of those big gurus that I really can't afford like like the Sigma lens and the Canon Rebel and the 70D, all that type of stuff. I'm not there yet, so I feel as though the Canon PowerShoot is really, really great for like vlogging as well. The only bummer is that I wish I had like the bulky effect of like the blurred background which I can't achieve unless if like I'm showing you guys products up close but other than that I really really like this camera for the price that I got it at but I do want to have a little disclaimer that I was using my iPod and iPhone legit for the two years when I first started my channel like lookbooks tutorials everything that I filmed was with my iPhone which is pretty awesome because Apple make a lot of affordable kind of like I'm not gonna say a lot but I mean like they make high quality cameras which you can basically start your channel with as for the lighting systems I currently use my ring light which I got from eBay a humble and lucky subscriber of mine like I feel so honored that I ran into her because I feel as though that I am glad that I literally look at you guys pages when you guys comment because when you guys comment I kind of stalk you guys profiles and see like who you are and if you make a channel I love to check out your videos show you support and stuff like that so I checked out her channel she had like a 600 um, subscribers not 600 200 subscribers and her video quality was amazing and I noticed that she had a ring light and it looked so beautiful in her tutorial she sent me the link and it was only 130 bucks for this green light so I'm glad that I ran into that and it's a really really bargain still that I absolutely love um before then I was using natural lighting and yeah it worked well on my videos I just used the ring light just to brighten my face a little bit more so it's not casting shadows upon my face and yeah I still use my windows all my windows are basically pulled up that's another technique if you want more light in your room pull up all your blinds or open all your curtains so like the light can illuminate through I do have a light system rig from limo studio their systems are amazing and they're basically um, kind of cheap but 
but in high quality way yeah I just want to say cheap because it's like 40 bucks for a lighting system I know other lighting systems are like 200 300 400 600 800 dollars so the price range can go from 40 to high high studio like you're trying to bam like Beyonce you know what I mean but this light really does its job like I wouldn't upgrade this any more than this because I feel as though this 40 bucks thing it's pretty awesome it came with three stands and basically I use the stand for my ring light I have two other stands one is a little one and one is a um, larger one and I use that for like the lighting for right here and the other one is just not occupied at the moment but I usually use like one lighting depending if it's like really really bright that day I really don't need that much lighting but when it's cloudy and it's kind of nighttime that's when I use all my lighting system because it kind of illuminates your room and make it more brighter and make it look like it's daytime when it's really nighttime as for my video editor I use my Toshiba laptop as you see behind me I basically had this for about three years which is pretty awesome and I do want to state to you guys when your computer shuts down or anything you really don't need to upgrade your laptop you just need to upgrade your speed your RAM basically it kind of performs your laptop to be more faster because as the years progress your laptop would start to slow down and you're going to need more memory and stuff so if you really like your laptop and you can't really invest in another one invest in ram that kind of upgrades your system and it will act as a brand new laptop fyi so as for my editing system i use the coral video studio pro 6 it's a professional system which range from about like 100 to 200 dollars i got mine for free because my uncle works with computers and he's in the computer business so i kind of got mine for the low low you know what i mean it's kind of good to um know people who basically are in your field of like your career because you kind of get the hookups and you get their kind of expertise on things which is pretty awesome so yeah, before then I was editing with my Windows Live Movie Maker which basically comes with Windows 7 or um, whatever Windows you have it basically comes with a movie maker which I was basically using that for about like two years until I converted with Core Video Studio Pro that's when I started using my camera as well so yeah it kind of went hand in hand when I kind of upgraded my camera as for my thumbnails, I use PicMonkey. I am a premium member, which is $4.99 a month, but I did use the free version for about like two years as well. Um, the editing, the edit, editor on there is pretty awesome, you guys. I feel as though even as the free version, you're getting a lot, but if you become a premium member, you're going to get so much royal stuff that you guys can test it out. You don't have to like pay $4.99 each month. If you feel like you're not going to be making a video that much, Month, you can cast your subscription and then renew it whenever you're going to be using the editing system again yeah um that is the end of how I film and edit my YouTube videos for you guys hope you guys all enjoyed it if you did be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up a comment down below if you guys have any other further questions that I didn't really answer in this video I will be sure to gladly to answer it for you guys as well if you aren't a Ginster, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I don't want you guys to miss any upcoming videos that I have in store for you guys. So be sure to hit it. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!